WASH is an acronym that stands for Water, Sanitation and Hygiene. Safe drinking water, sanitation and hygiene are prerequisite to health and well-being of every community. This basic facility contributes to a society free of diseases leading to a healthier and a happier community. Department of Health Central Tibetan Administration have been actively engaged in facilitating WASH, Water Sanitation and Hygiene Program in the exiled Tibetan communities. In today's episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV, we have Sonam Domala, the project coordinator of CTS WASH project. So first and foremost, can you tell us what exactly does the Central Tibetan Administration do under this WASH project? And can you tell us about some of the recent projects that your desk have undertaken? Sedula, mm. uh, Water and Sanitation is a huge program under which a department focuses on two activities. First one is the provision of safe drinking water and the second one is the provision of basic sanitation across the Tibetan settlement in India. Mm -hmm. uh, under WASH desk, we have took a various number of activities such mm -hmm. as construction of overhead tank, then the second one is replacement and installation of pipeline system. Mm -hmm. Third one is the procurement of water treatment plants. And fourth one is the uh, construction and repair of check dam. And the fifth one is drilling of bore well or recharge pit to improve the underground water table. And under sanitation, we have cover uh, construction of community and individual toilet, then construction of drainage. And the third one is the uh, renovation of safety tank. Apart from that, in Ladakh Tibetan settlement, uh, since their uh, geographical mm -hmm. uh, nature is different from the rest of the Tibetan settlement, mm -hmm. so we have uh, built number of solar composite toilet mm -hmm. because the toilet they use they doesn't require water, mm -hmm. rather they use sand and soil mm -hmm. after the use of toilet. So um, the manure take time to decompose. Mm -hmm. So in order to fasten the decomposition, the solar uh, composite toilet has proven very efficient. Mm -hmm. And over the last three years, department are able to give support to uh, 27 settlement and nine school with a budget of 2.5 crore. Mm -hmm. Currently, the main donor of uh, water and sanitation is United States government agency mm -hmm. through PRM. Well, um, there are about 40 Tibetan settlements across India. So the health department, uh, can I ask you, how does the health department choose or decide where to carry out the maximum WASH projects? Uh, selection uh, for uh, choosing the project, it depends on uh, need assessment and the priority. But the uh, process of selection uh, is a collective input from the camp leaders, mm -hmm. so at the settlement level. Mm -hmm. Finally, at the department, the WASH project uh, officer and the administration decide the allocation of the project based on the needs and the priority. Okay, so um, with the growing challenges of uh, availability of water resources, especially with safe drinking water, how do you overcome this scarcity of water resources and what other challenges do you face while implementing this project? It's a very fact that uh, scarcity of water is increasing mm -hmm. uh, over the year, mm -hmm. uh, which is why in 2017 and 18, mm -hmm. the Department of Health carried out a water survey mm -hmm. in five uh, southern region mm -hmm. and three uh, central region mm -hmm. to access the underground water table. Mm -hmm. Since the majority of our Tibetan community main source of drinking water is underground bore well, mm -hmm. Uh, so the space geo they have suggested for a uh, recharge pit mm -hmm. near the bore well so that we can improve the underground water table. Mm -hmm. Likewise, department has also constructed uh, 51 recharge pit and nine uh, check dam in mm -hmm. these three years. Mm -hmm. So we see so many facilities around us, including uh, the above mentioned uh, facilities like bore wells and uh, public toilets and drinking water facilities and more. So how do you ensure that these facilities are well taken care of by the community members? Uh, regarding the maintenance and the overall uh, project of the to check the status, mm -hmm. we do a monitoring and uh, supervision visit to the settlement. Mm -hmm. Not only that, there is a section in SART mm -hmm. and monitoring and evolution. They also pay a visit to the settlement. Addition to that, donor also pay a visit mm -hmm. uh, once a year mm -hmm. to do the final evolution. Well, thank you, Snamdumla. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Sirila. 
So that was Nam Domla from Department of Health. I hope through today's episode our viewers have received more information of water, sanitation and hygiene and the importance of taking care of these facilities around us for all of us. Thank you for watching Tibet TV.